I guess we can say this is part three of my uh, UPS inverter conversion for a solar inverter here. So um, basically what I've done today, um, I just reinforced a lot of the traces here uh, best I can. I used some 14 gauge household wire. You'll see a little bit here, there. Uh, I also crossed through uh, the traces there and reinforced all that down the middle as well. Uh, as much as I can get in there without having to scratch up all the uh, I guess you can call it insulation on the PCB to expose the traces um, and yeah so I got two, two, two 10 gauge wires on it which is obviously not adequate um, I'm going to probably end up doing dual 10 gauge or dual 8 gauge but for now I just cleaned up I took out the original uh, wires uh, sorry these ones here I removed this because obviously this is uh, going to cause some heat loss. Taking that off the board. And uh, so, yeah, from the last video, you did see a dual wire, but I will uh, fix that. But for now, um, really at 50 amps or so, this 10 gauge wire should start to get a bit warm, but I don't think it'll be a huge concern. So, what I want to show in this video is um, the temperature of everything. Um, so right now it's just been idle. I haven't put the load on yet. It keeps going crazy every time we disconnect the battery. Um, so everything right now is at temperature. Room temp. Just gonna check the uh, the heat sinks in there as well. So as you can see, everything's pretty cool. Um, maybe I'm going to turn the unit a little bit sideways. So as you can see, everything's at room temp. Um, so I haven't touched the shunt yet, uh, but this little guy uh, that I added on there across the stock shunt has enabled me to uh, run a higher output so right now the way it's set up is it's got about a 1200 watt limit so when I run this um, heater or shouldn't I say heat gun uh, it's pretty much at the limit uh, of what this shunt will enable me to run or what the system thinks is full load when in reality it's running over spec um, so as I mentioned in the previous video this should be you know, assuming, uh, or, you know, not MOSFET limiting, but I'm saying, well, mo MOSFETs, why, or FET-wise with 4110s, it should be able to run at least two, uh, at least 100 amps, I would say, continuous, um, which should enable over, at least over 15 to 2,000 watts of uh, power output of the sine wave uh, UPS here. Um, but for now, we're going to run it at about 50, which you'll see shortly. Um, and I'll probably do a later video once I got the dual wires in here. I'm going to do another video with the, the hair dryer connected and um, 1800 watt hair dryer, which is basically the biggest load I have. Um, and we'll see how it does. But uh, let me just fix this guy here. Okay, she's just drying. Just a sec here. Just want to make sure this guy's rolled out. I hate when it runs in the negatives. All right, good enough. Here we go. So it is. Uh, I'm gonna time it right now. It's right 10:15 p.m. tonight, and uh, we're gonna do like a 10-minute test. Uh, keep an eye on the batteries. Uh, I'll come back to you after about five minutes and maybe 10 minutes. We'll see how she's doing temperature-wise. So here we go.
Okay, we're at six minutes into the test. This thing is extremely loud, but that's annoying, but we'll just do quickly. My little 14 gauge wire is at Eighty-eight degrees. <laughs> A little fourteen piece of gauge properly. So the the ten gauge wire is at seventy. The hardest part here, I think, is these things, which are the heat sinks. It doesn't feel that warm though. I can put my finger on it, so it doesn't seem hot. Um, Okay, we're going to stop the test because this thing is just annoying. Ooh, that is loud. Um, so, final impressions here for this part three of this video. Definitely need to do all these up as we were, I already mentioned at the beginning of the video. Uh, the heat sinks, they don't really get warm. Uh, I mean, this fan is pulling out air. And it is pretty warm. It's pretty, it's... Uh, it's hotter than ambient, of course. Uh, as far as this goes, these traces. I mean, they are a little bit warm. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we are pulling 60 amps constant, which on any e-bike controller that I've done, it's never that high. This is pretty hot right here. But remember, 60 amps constant. Um... 1200 watts so can I pull more probably I'm probably gonna I'm gonna do a look do another video probably I'm gonna duel these guys up if I want to and um, so I'm gonna try to eliminate heat with some more wires I'm gonna pop our 10 gauge wire right in the middle there and another negative lead I don't know but I would like to put one here maybe and one there closer to the the FET legs so just like so I can get even um, current distribution over the wires because this one here is pulling from the furthest point really again these are not meant to uh, run <laughs> this kind of power that I'm trying to push through it which is a lot more than what the factory meant for them but overall um, I'm quite happy with everything um, yeah, that's pretty much it I mean it's probably recovering already pretty well Still at 40 ish. Yeah, I'm pretty confident this is gonna run like this will run a microwave probably. Uh, this will run a fridge. I'm gonna want to try it on the fridge eventually. Just uh, I rather try it on an old fridge before I actually run the fridge in the kitchen or something like that. With it, just to uh, be sure it takes up the startup load fine. But uh, I would be surprised like this bat. I wonder how long these batteries will last. Uh, this is about eight minutes of runtime, and they're at. 3.2 uh, yeah but that's we ran a really tough load I'm, sh I'm sure I can get a couple at least a couple hours on a fridge for this thing it's still indicating 29 minutes this is completely off this 9% um, but once I do add another shun here it'll even run the battery meter even slower so right now it's uh, it's still running down as it normally would but at three quarters the rate of the factory whatever these come out at the factory with so I can really probably put if I double it up you know, double it up or probably 
yield about all the readings here will be about 50 percent 60 percent of what the actual uh power uh that the thing is actually dissipating is so i'm probably going to do some efficiency numbers um soon i just uh could probably do it um yeah i'm not gonna do it today but uh yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoy the videos i hope you guys uh will end the building or modifying your own but uh definitely a awesome budget sine wave uh inverter so more to come um maybe some more testing on some other appliances we'll see where it goes from there thanks for watching Bye.